Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in Creo Parametric. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to model this flange coupling assembly using Creo. This is the assembly view and this is the cut section view of the uh, flange coupling. In that flange coupling, we have uh, five components. One is a flange, and the second one is the shaft, third one is the tapper key, and fourth and fifth are the external bolt and nut. Now, this one is the uh, cut section view and this is the part view. From that, we are going to model the part. Then we are going to assemble it. First, we will model the uh, every component using a part modeling. Then we will assemble it by using assembly model. For that, first go to the Creo parametric. Before starting this assembly model, first select the working, working directory. Go for select the working directory set the working directory where you want to save all the part model file i want to save it here so this is my working directory then start modeling the first component my first component is flange so we have a front view and side view by using these two views we need to model the flange for that first go to the software and keep the file parallelly now we can model it parallelly for first go to new here choose solid part and take this use default template save ok our units are in mm here you can see all the dimension are in mm so choose mm template mm newton solid part solid absolute this is our unit template save ok now we have chosen a unit template then we will model it first i am going to choose right plane sketch sketch view this model i am going to create it by using a revolve tool for that start with the center line which is datum center line just create a datum center line press the roller to confirm then just create this only this sketch then revolve it 360 degree take a line start with any one of the line i am going to start with this line just start it from here to here press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm now here this dimension is they have given 190 then go for dimension select this point this axis and again this point press the roller here this dimension is 190 so 190 enter and uh, this dimension they have given which is 47 that is dia 45 so just go for dimension again this point this axis and this point again press the roller here this one is 45 then take a line one horizontal line and vertical line horizontal then close and close the sketch press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm and now we have created the sketch then specify the remaining dimension first set the dimension from here to here press the roller here it came inclined so just select it and delete it again go for dimension from this point to this line this dimension is 75 just keep it sketch view just keep it here just keep it here and this dimension is 20 so go for dimension again this one is 20 and this dimension is 90 here you can see so from this point to this point to this point just click it here this one is 90 now we have set all the dimension press the roller here just say ok and revolve it 
just close it select this revolve one now it is came as 360 degree just say ok now we have created 360 degree revolve then we just want to create this uh, keyway cut for that take this front plane sketch sketch view here we have one more option which is clip view it will give the cut section view by giving this view we can easily modify the inner feature now i am just going for a clip view and take the reference this one this one and this one then close it and here you can see it is a taper of 1 is 100 and from here to here the dimension is 47.9 just take and take a reference of this line also and close it take a line from here to here and uh, incline line and close it press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm and this dimension is 47.9 this one is 47.9 and to calculate this length the taper will be calculated just go for the calculator 1 by 100 into total length that length is the that small uh, distance from this point to this point so 1 by 100 into length is 75 that is 0.75 then 47.9 minus 0.75 so this dimension is 47.9 minus 0.75 so this is the tapper then save ok then extrude make it symmetric material removal the thickness of the removal is taper thickness is 14 mm just 14 so it's the bottom also it's cutting just go for the sketch again edit edit view just take a line go for the cut section Go for delete segments, remove this, save ok. Now we have created the cut. Then we just want to create this hole for bolt. This hole here they have given 4 holes, they are 12 and PCD of 140 equally spaced. So just select the surface, go for sketch, sketch view, take a circle, before that just take a reference of this line. Then close it, take a circle, just create a circle and the diameter they have given is 4, 140, just go for dimension from this point, this line and this point, press here, before just make a center line, just go for dimension from here to this axis, to this point, this face CD is 140. And the diameter is 12. Save OK. Go for extrude. Change the direction. To next. Material removal. Save OK. The same hole has to be patterned by using axial pattern. For that use the pattern. Here you choose axis pattern. Choose the axis of the model. This is the axis. Here we make it angular of 360 degree. We need a 4 Four, 4 locations to make a hole just say ok now we have created then here you can see there are rounds 1 2 3 this rounds has to be defined here when all the filters and rounds with the radius of 3 mm so just use the round this edge press the control and hold select this edge and this edge this edge doesn't have any round so we should not make any rounds here just say make a radius of 3 
say ok now we have created this flange then just go for standard orientation set it with this just hide the sketch now we have created this model then we can save this file just go for file save as save a copy this one is the first component which is flange one underscore f l a n g e flange just save it now the component is saved then go for file close 